We've just checked into our Polignano accommodation and it is so beautiful. Look at this view. I'm actually speechless. We have the best view ever. It's literally so beautiful. So I think that's the main little town over there. And then that is the main beach that you would have seen in everyone's Instagram photos. <laughs> Whoever has ever been here, they would have posted it. But I'm just honestly in shock about this balcony. It's so beautiful. We just have our own little private balcony and it is so cute. Again, the weather is gorgeous today. Hello officially and welcome to my Polignano vlog. I am so excited to be here. It is so beautiful. We've had honestly a really good travel day today. So we travel from Capri to here today and honestly it was really easy we just caught the ferry from Capri to Naples and then we had a private transfer from Naples to here and that was about three hours there was no traffic or anything so that was really really nice and easy and seamless which was good and then we obviously checked into our accommodation which is so beautiful I'm honestly still in shock with how just like perfect our location is and it's just so beautiful I'm honestly just in awe of it our views honestly everything it's so beautiful um, so yeah we just showered got ready for dinner we don't have any plans for dinner tonight we didn't make any reservations but we think we're gonna go to this restaurant it's called Embriana some of our friends went there the last time they were here so the same time last year and it looks really good they do pizza and stuff and I'm really craving pizza so I think I'll get that I'm really excited to just explore Puglia it's so crazy we were just saying how different all of the towns are even though you're still in Italy they're all so different and have completely different vibes I feel like Puglia is very um, in case you're confused by the way Polignano is a town in Puglia um, and Puglia is just like faster to say so I just say that instead of saying Polignano because it's just a little bit of a mouthful and I feel like I'm butchering it every time I say it it's so beautiful here it's very I would say more so like authentic Italian maybe less touristy no designer shops or anything like that but really um, yeah, it's still really beautiful and just so different. It's honestly so beautiful here. So yeah, I'm excited to be here for the next few nights. And yeah, I'm excited to go explore town a little bit as well. I'm just wearing this white sort of bralette top and then this sort of like, it's like a quarter length maxi skirt. It's really pretty. And then my favorite bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. It is so stunning. It's just like big and chunky and I just love it. Our little breakfast spot super cute it's at the bottom of our airbnb where we are staying and this is the view so breakfast is actually included in our booking it's really cute in here guys it's a little continental breakfast with a few different options we have some fruit some is that like a tart plums i spy a saucy there's actually so many sausage dogs around here look can you see them oh no baby We just came down to this other beach that we heard of because the other one is really busy. It's super cute here though. It's definitely a little bit more quiet, still really, really busy, but yeah, it's really nice. Look how beautiful and clear the water is. The vibes here are so nice, everyone's jumping in. Oh my God, I love it. It's so clear, the water looks so beautiful. So I think we're gonna set up here for the day and just lay in the sun, relax, swim. It is so sunny out here right now. I'm like literally dying, um, but we just got back from the beach. It was so nice. We definitely recommend going there if you want somewhere that's a little bit more quiet compared to the main beach. It was beautiful. The best thing about over here is though, even though it's like really hot in the sun, the beach and the actual water is really nice and cool. So it's really refreshing. So it's a really good contrast between the two, which is really nice. And yeah, it was just a really nice morning, just getting some sun. We also read for a little bit and just went for a swim as well. So that was really nice. And then we just came back had a little bit of uh, work to get done so we just did a little bit of that and then had a shower and then we are actually just gonna go find somewhere to eat for lunch I think I'm going to get craving like a panini or focaccia or something like that so I'm gonna go just look around and try and find something while we're out and about and then we're gonna come back and get ready for dinner tonight we have our reservation at Grotta Palazzo I think that's how you pronounce it um, it's meant to be just the most beautiful restaurant it's in a cave it's definitely a bucket list item for when you are in Puglia apparently the food is actually not that good but the whole experience in general is meant to be really beautiful so really excited to go there I'll bring you guys along and give you my review anyway but we're gonna go find somewhere to eat now and then I'll show you guys when we're back and what I'm wearing and stuff like that as well we are 
ready for dinner. We're just actually on our way there now. We're mm -hmm. heading to Grotta Palazzo. I think that's how you that's pronounce how we it. Think we pronounce it. We think no, that's no, what sure. we're going with. Um, and yeah, we're really excited. Apparently, it's like really overpriced, but well, it is. We already know. Yeah, well, it is. It's a set menu, so you have to like select your set menu. Um, but I'm really excited for the experience. Everyone says it's beautiful. It's in a cave. It looks mm. stunning. Definitely a must do when you are in. It's Puglia. one of those bucket list things. I feel sure. like we already know it's going to be overpriced. So I think yeah. we're going in with that expectation. And honestly, we're the set menu I'm getting looks amazing. Yeah. Tiles is a little bit. She has like some like allergies and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit harder for her, but mm. the menu I'm allowed to get, no, the menu the menu like I can choose from is really is good. Like, exactly. Honestly, it's right up my alley. I get ravioli, I get sea bass fish, and I get tiramisu, and tiramisu is my favorite ever. And I don't like anything that she just said. So we'll see. Yay, we'll see how it goes. At least I'm getting my $350 we'll worth. <laughs> okay, have you guys resting on my bag? So just envision my bag. It's like this big bag. Um, we're wearing this cute little dress for over back moment. And Tal's wearing a gorgeous little rose set, silky set. Little rose it's top. beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, yes. Matches for good, teams. actually. Cute. And we're semi-matching. <laughs> and it was so good you guys I'm actually so impressed I feel like whenever I have really low expectations though it's always better so thank you to everyone that made me have yeah. low expectations <laughs> thank you for because, the shit because I thoroughly enjoyed it it was great um I got the seafood one and it was so delicious so my entree was scallops beautiful um my next meal was the prawn ravioli beautiful as well um then my main was sea bass which was really nice and then my dessert was a tiramisu and you guys know i love tiramisu so it was beautiful i ate mine and i also ate verities so yeah overall a really good meal the whole experience in general was beautiful as well i would definitely recommend for anyone wanting to go to do it one. yeah Unreal. the location is beautiful Sun. like honestly 10 times better than it looks in all of the photos Absolutely, as well 100%. honestly so beautiful the staff were really nice and friendly um views were mm -hmm. amazing food was amazing so yeah i definitely recommend it was so good and the time we went we went at 7 p.m and that was just the perfect time the sun was sort of setting while we were eating and it was just a really beautiful experience it was so nice just a really nice way to spend our time, all of us girls. It was really, really beautiful. Would recommend. Yeah, so we just came back. We went and got some water. We just got so much water because the only thing I would say is the water is 10 euros per bottle. So we were like on rations with the water because we knew that. Like, um, like surely we don't need another one. Yeah, um, Talia, was, <laughs> Talia and I, well, honestly, all of us True. were like, You've already had one serve of water. No, I literally get so panicked when I don't have enough water. We were just having so much water. And then the second we left, we literally bolted to the nearest store and we're like, give us eight bottles of water. Eight bottles of water. And he's like, are you guys okay? And we were like cracking them open, like sculling the water Why before we'd like even we're paid. Like we're drunk. We literally sound drunk, but we've had one drink this whole trip at Franco's bar in Positano. Mm -hmm. We haven't drunk at all we're honestly just like whopped off food and oh, dehydrated from a lack of water <laughs> life. we're whopped off life we're just high on life right now life. no honestly it's been the best trip <laughs> getting all emotional but it's been so good so we have what do we have now so we have one more, one night. more night here mm -hmm. so tomorrow is going to have like a really chill beach day and then we have our cooking class is so that very not the excited. best way to finish our trip i know so it's going to be our last italy location like this is our last italy location and mm -hmm. we're finishing it off with a cooking class perfect so perfect and we were like that. guessing what um we think we're going to eat charles reckons because we're making arancini a balls? starter, yeah. a main and a dessert, but we don't know what. Mm -hmm. She thinks arancini balls. Yeah. What do you think? I think arancini balls as well, actually, yeah. for the entree. 
Then we we both think ravioli, hey? Ravioli. We think ravioli with like a tomato. Did you say, oh, no, you said gnocchi. I said I think it will either be that or rav or gnocchi, but yeah. I think it will be ravioli just because mm -hmm. like we'll be making like the little pillows, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then dessert, cannoli. You said tiramisu, yeah. I said cannoli. Yeah, and I said tiramisu. The girls want cannoli, obviously. Oh my god, yeah. Molly, guys, what a cake! She's so beautiful. Oh my god, love, love. I'm literally crying. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm That's amazing. Oh my god, guys, that was the best news oh ever. Fully amazing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's like crying. crying. She's emotional. That oh, is so fucking so cute. cute. You guys would have already seen that, obviously. But you are my excited. friend and always the Don't. I, I fucking love them. She always picks the cutest songs for all of her little reels. She's so fucking cute. Anyway, I can't even remember what we're talking Mommy's about. Engaging. But yeah, she's engaged. <laughs> That's so exciting. Dinner was great. Dessert was great. Oh God, and we have... Wow. Um, we have our cooking class tomorrow. Oh, that's what we were doing. We were guessing. What oh, the, yeah. What the dessert is gonna be. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna take our faces off. We need to take the makeup off. Have a shower. Get, a bit, get comfy. A little bit of work. I'm gonna edit a bit of YouTube. Yeah, video. I need to edit some of luggage for you guys. We've been really good on the vlogs. Mm -hmm. Just trying to like keep on top You've of things, you know? Yeah, I've already got one live. Psychopath. I know. Who am I? So hopefully one a week. Yep. Yeah, Maybe two a week, actually, because I'm well, doing double get, locations. This so. week I need to get. A haul up and then next week yeah, we'll have a pause time or not. Yeah, beautiful. So yeah. we're gonna do that tonight, go to sleep and then mm. we'll check in tomorrow. Good night. Guys. Good morning guys. It is our last full day in Polignano. I'm so sad to be leaving this place, but I'm so excited because tomorrow we head to Mykonos and I'm just so excited to be in Mykonos with the girls. It's gonna be so much fun. Greece is absolutely at the top of my bucket list, so it's going to feel like an actual dream being there. But I am really excited to spend our last day in Polignano. We're just gonna head down to the beach just behind me there. So really nice and close and we'll just have a really nice chill day. And then this afternoon, we have our cooking class, which is just going to be the best way to finish up our time in Italy. So it's going to be really nice. And then, yeah, tomorrow morning we are getting picked up at 4 a.m. from uh, so we have a private transfer from here to the airport, and then we have a flight, and then we'll be in Mykonos, which is just going to feel so surreal. I just can't believe we'll be in Mickey. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Fancy seeing you guys here. Is that ours? Chicken? Yeah, chicken. Yes, thank you. Charles and I just stopped in at the same place where Eddie and I came yesterday, but we got something a little bit different. Charles got chicken and it looks really yummy actually. It looks pretty good. It's nice and crispy. Yeah. And then we both got strat stratocella yeah. cheese, yeah. tomato, and rocket. And then I just got mine with ham instead because I was just a little bit nervous about the chicken, but it honestly looks really yummy. Yeah, all right, all right. So, hey, friends. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, they're beautiful. We're so yeah, excited. Australia. So Ali and I are a little bit slower on this side. This is my little snake. Took me about 45 minutes to I'm get there. there. But there. you're getting there. I'm not like Emily. We're just in Master yeah. Australia. Yeah. Master yeah. Look how thick you are. Master Chef Italy. Like this. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we might Oopsie excel in, in the other area. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll excel in other places, yeah, I think. No. <laughs> oh my god, is it getting competitive already? We've just started. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what you're doing with those hands. That'd be very frustrating. You know what she does. Oh, she's like watching paint dry. Literally. Should I try this? Hey, the lava. Makes it look so easy. It looks so beautiful. We just have a tomato pasta sauce with it, and then some parmesan and some basil. Beautiful. I mean, Mm -hmm. They are surely in there. We fold and cut with a cutter or we use a, a glass, simple glass for cut the pasta, you know. Pressure and cut in oh, like yeah. mid moon. Like this. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay? And it's simple. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yum! Yeah. A little desserty pops. They're so cute. Mm. So they have cherry marmalade yeah. in them. Mm -hmm. Is it like a little taste testy? Little taste test. They won't be hot, will they? Mm -mm. I need to try. Mm. <laughs> Eyes and sugar all over your mouth. <laughs> Guys, look how beautiful it is out here for our last night in Polignano. This evening is so nice. There's a beautiful sea breeze and I also hear fireworks over there, but I can't actually see them, so I can absolutely hear them. I just can't see them, which is a little bit sad, but how beautiful is the music coming from down here? It's honestly such a beautiful evening. So nice. I just washed my hair, so I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but we have just finished packing up all of our things. We got back from the cooking class, and then, yeah, just did all of our packing, just so that we're ready for tomorrow morning's early start and then yeah we've just been getting some work done i washed my hair just so it's nice and fresh for looking off tomorrow and yeah it's a beautiful last night here it's crazy that it's still light and it's literally 9 p.m um but we've had the most amazing time polignano would absolutely recommend adding it to your travel list it's so beautiful here and we also had the best time in our cooking class as well i will leave the name um it was actually just called stephanie's cooking class in polignano so you can definitely just like look it up um but yeah it was really nice it was in their home and it was her and her mum um teaching us how to cook and it was just us so it was like a private class and i think it was yeah it was 50 euro per person which was really good as well so i would absolutely recommend that too but i'm going to sign off from my polignano vlog now and i'll see you guys in mykonos bye